So Silvergate Bank goes bankrupt. They're holding $3.3 billion of reserves for Circle, which is USDC's parent company. That news gets released. People panic. They start selling their USDC. USDC depegs. Depegging means that it broke below $1 and it became worth less than $1, which is not good for a stable coin because it's not stable. USDC, according to my opinion, is the private central bank digital currency of the US, effectively. The Federal Reserve put Silvergate Bank on that list of companies or banks that it would actually protect because it's backing USDC. Up until now, we've been waiting to see, okay, where could I move my money and know that it's safe or as safe as it could be in this process of the banks collapsing and countries collapsing and so on and so forth? When the Federal Reserve came in and saved Sil Silvergate Bank's depositors, I think they were saving USDC from collapsing. That gives me confidence that USDC is connected to Coinbase, connected to BlackRock, is now connected to the Fed effectively. And the who's who of the people who run the world as part of the organization. So I think USDC is now the safest place to keep money. Because what happened is as soon as the Federal Reserve said that they would back up deposits, USDC went back to being exactly $1 again. It depegged and it came back. Luna, when it depegged, it went to zero. USDT, which is a scam, when it depegs, it has issues. USDC depegged and went right back and the trust was restored again.